In this video, I will be explaining how you can use text animations and LaTeX equations inside Menim. So basically, we have three options to create texts inside Menim. And the first one is the text function, which is the basic um, text function of Menim and uses the Menim library itself. So the advantage of this text function is being fast as it doesn't require any extensions. If we go to the text function, which is the extension of LaTeX, the advantage of text function is being able to use all the LaTeX equations and all the other things inside Menim. And finally, the MathTeX equation is equivalent to the double dollar sign inside LaTeX. And let's render this scene and see how these things work actually. As you can see, our first text is created by Menim library itself. I changed its color to light pink. And our second text is created by the LaTeX. And the third equation, I have created a basic LaTeX equation and put it inside this function. So as you can see, the font size of these two text animations are same, but as the origin of this um, functions are different. You can see that the first um, text is much more bigger than the second one. And after that, for our third example, I wanted to show how we need to write uh, LaTeX equations. The important part while writing LaTeX equations inside Menim is using the R option. If you do not use this R option, the Python misunderstands the backslashes inside these strings which means that it will render a wrong scene. So let's look at how we can place these objects inside Menim more efficiently in our second example. If I render our second, second example, we can see that I have created some text again. Our first text is actually pi over 2 and our second text is approximately and our third text is equal to 1.57. So what I wanted to do here is just creating a sentence with these parts, but I wanted to change the pi over 2 color to yellow to create this image, which you see on the right side. So what I have done is just I take the approximate text and put the pi over 2, which is named as text in my case, next to the text 2 and I place the text 3 next to the text which will create a sentence like you see on the right side now and after that I have grouped all of these things and placed them into the origin but there are more efficient ways like you see below in this part I have used the text function which accepts all the functions that LaTeX accepts so in this part I have used different type of strings inside one text function which means that I have written the first part and the second part separately inside a function. After that I have changed the second part of uh, this text using this notation which is very simple I guess. After that I have moved text 4 below the group of text that I have created previously. So as you can see, our sentence is created. So these are two examples how you can place your sentences inside our scene. Let's move on to our next example to see how we can use loops and text together. Let's start the rendering process and let me explain what I have done in this scene. So first thing I have done is just creating a, a, an array which is made up of numbers from 1 to 3 with equal distances from each other. And I have created a circle which has a radius of 1 at first and after that I have set its opacity to 1. After that I have created a text and finally I have created an array. In this array, the radius of the circle is defined by the linspace function I have created previously. 
So as this function contains numbers from 1 to 3, the radius of the circle always increases using these numbers. Also the number that our text function contains increases. So for each turn, our function will transform old text to new text and transform old circle to new circle in a runtime of 0.05 which will create the image you can see in the right side now. So basically this text animation contains information about the radius of our circle. This is a basic animation but you can use your ingenuity to explain yourself inside menu. So what I want to point out here is that I have used the text function here not the latex function which is text uh, the difference is that the text function is much more faster than uh, the text function as it doesn't connect to the latex platform finally as we cannot see perfectly this transform functions i want to change some things and show the transform function more clearly for example let me set the runtime to one second and if I set the runtime to one second, the uh, 100 animations will take too much time and let's decrease this to 6. When I re-render the scene, we will see how uh, this transform functions works more clearly. As you can see, now our circle transforms with a smooth animation from one to another radius. So this is the end of the video and thank you so much for watching.